I've paid off a lot of debt in my life and there's one thing I know, it is difficult. It also allows you to live a much better, less stressful, simpler life. So I am a huge fan of being debt free. And in today's video, I'm gonna share the numbers I recently saw in another video on a different channel about how much the average American has in debt. I just wanted to do this for a fun game so that you can see maybe where you stack up along the lines of the average amount of debt people have and whether or not you feel comfortable with that. If you're new here, my name is Mary. This is Pennies Not Perfection, where we talk about paying off debt and how it can give you a better financial life, the life of your dreams, because you're living with less payments. So today we're gonna look at the average amount of debt per category that people have, and you can maybe compare yourself to what is going on. Quick word about comparison though, it's not always the best thing to do. Comparing yourself to other people can often lead you to feeling less than, to feeling shame, to feeling a lot of negative emotions around your money, which is not what this video is meant to do or what I hope for you. It can also lead you to feeling superior if maybe you've already paid off your debt and you're like, oh, I'm so much better than those people that are stuck in those heavy payments every single month but that's not the right direction either. So just take this as information and kind of realize that it's just something fun to do when you're watching a video and see where you stack up against others. First, let's talk about credit card debt. So the average credit card debt per person according to this was $6,501. I know that the average is definitely not the best number to be looking at because a lot of people have a lot of credit card debt and that can skew the numbers because a lot of people also have zero credit card debt. So average is not really meaningful, but if you are someone that has a lot of credit card debt, I would highly recommend you take care of this problem before anything else in your financial life. Credit card debt is a huge problem. And honestly, one of the biggest financial emergencies that you can have in your life because interest rates are so high on credit cards. The average interest rate on a credit card is over 22% and almost 47% of people carry over balance. So whatever balance you carry over month to month is being charged. 22% interest on that balance. That is a huge amount and it can really spiral out of control quickly, which is why some people get into credit card debt and never get out. If you have credit card debt, make it an emergency. I use credit cards and I make sure that I'm never paying interest because I'm on top of them. I check my balances actually once a week instead of once a month. I pay them off every single week and I just start fresh because it feels a lot better to be on top of it and realize that I'm still getting all the benefits of using credit cards without the potential interest and debt trap. Now let's look at student loan debt, which is a huge problem in the US specifically. There's plans for different versions of student loan debt repayment and forgiveness and all sorts of politically motivated things about student loan debt. And while I would love for everyone to have their slates wiped clean, that is not currently happening. People do have a lot of student loan debt still. According to this, the average student loan debt was 30 $38,787. That's a lot of student loan debt. And it's very similar to the amount that I paid off on my channel when I was paying off student loans, when I was sharing my personal finance journey of getting out of debt. It took me about two years to pay off $40,000 basically. And it was a struggle. I had to dedicate a lot of energy, a lot of time, a lot of money to getting out of debt, to paying off those student loans that have been hanging around for almost 20 years. So I'd finally taken care of them, but it was a lot of work. Student loans tend to be seen as good debt because you're investing in your future, you're getting a degree that can help you get a better job, but ultimately they can also linger for a long time. People over 70 still have student loan debt and many people are delaying things like buying a home, having kids, doing all sorts of life milestones because they have big student loan payments every single month. So if you do have student loans, maybe you wanna take care of those sooner and work on a plan to get out of debt faster. Speaking Speaking of good debt, let's talk about mortgage debt. So there are millions and millions and millions of mortgages out there in the US and the average amount is actually $244,498. That is a really reasonable amount for a mortgage considering home prices. So that's actually not that bad and I was kind of surprised by that number. Considering the median home price currently is over $400,000, it's really not bad to have a mortgage that is under $250,000 
$250,000. If you are paying, however, $250,000 in a mortgage and your home is only worth that, that's not quite as good. But if that's your mortgage on a $400,000, $500,000 home, you're doing great. That's amazing. And that's a lot of home equity that you can eventually use to do other things financially. For our situation, we currently have a home mortgage that is less than $100,000. And while that is exciting, our home is actually a starter home in a low cost of living city. So we don't actually have as much there as you would expect, but we do want to eventually buy another home and get a larger mortgage. So for us, this number in debt might go up in the future. We don't plan to take on any other loans, but this one could go up. Now let's talk about auto loan debt. Car debt is honestly one of the biggest wealth killers out there. And it is one of the things that has people in the middle class so stressed. In the last few years, the price of cars have gone up. The used car prices have not gone down. So it is almost better to buy a new car these days than old because you get that warranty. And the whole situation is just a mess. There's really not as many great personal finance choices out there because of the situation that we're in. And that has led people to really, really increase their auto loan debt. According to Experian, the car loan average these days in the US is $23,792 which is so much considering that a few years ago, it was a lot less. But honestly, considering the price of some new cars, this is actually not that bad. There are tons of people out there driving cars and SUVs that are closer to $100,000 than $20,000. So having the average be $23,000, that's not that bad. However, a really crazy stat is that 16% of people have recently financed a new car that has a payment monthly over $1,000, which is a lot higher than it used to be. And most people honestly have a average $700 car payment these days. That's a lot. That's not really something that I personally value in life. I don't care as much about cars. So we don't try to get a nice new car with a car loan, but that is something that's a reality for a lot of people. And the car loan debt can really drag on your monthly finances when you're having to make that thousand dollar payment and you have all the other expenses of life as well. So let's talk about this. Why does any of this matter? Really, it doesn't. It really doesn't matter what the person next to you has in debt. It really doesn't matter what the average debt is. The only thing that matters is your personal situation. If you have debt, especially high interest debt, like credit card debt, you need to take care of that. You need to pay that off. While we do live in a culture that is all about debt, I mean, you can go out and purchase almost anything on a credit card or buy now, pay later, and have debt on things like the steak you ate last night. Debt is everywhere, but having a a smaller debt balance overall, having a net worth that is higher and not as many payments per month gives you a lot of freedom. Not having so many drags on your income will make you feel wealthier. It'll make you feel rich. If you're not paying 700 here to credit cards and 700 here to a car loan and a thousand here to your student loans, if you're not paying $2,000, $3,000 in debt payments every single month, that's a lot of money to live your life, to live the life life of your dreams. So paying off your debt and getting those payments out of your monthly budget, out of your monthly situation can give you so much freedom and so much happiness. And honestly, I want that for you. So if you are struggling with debt, if you're having a hard time paying off your debt, definitely watch this next video and I hope it helps you out and you know that you can live debt free.